Ah, right, how we doing, folks? Your boy, Marcus, one two zero five. The numbers after the name. Tight Tuesday, man. Game plays that come down to the limit, to the wall, to the wire, to the last second, to the to shebang, bang, to like we even know what's going on over here. And the sweltering heat uh, that is plaguing uh, these cars. I ain't even going to complain to man. I love this warm weather. Yo. You give me 90-something degrees, you gave Margos his best gift he could have in terms of weather. So you ain't going to hear me complete, complain about that. It's actually pretty cool to you know, just stay indoors a little bit and just play some video games as well. Even though you go outside, get a poker stop here or there. Uh, nah, not to talk on too much Pokemon Go. But I don't really appreciate these people that take over my gym right next to me, man. I have a, a, a quick, quick Pokemon Go story here. I uh, I have a gym that's about like two blocks away from my house, and it, it, when I first saw it the first day, I was kind of looking at it. And I'm like, this doesn't make much sense. I was like, I, I'm looking at this map. I was like, if this is correct, that's like that abandoned building over there. Like that can't be a gym. Like what the fuck? These things are like monuments or something. This is literally an abandoned, like thro half thrown down building that like they just never finished throwing down. And I walked out there uh, the next morning. And I was like, you know, let me pop open the app real quick. It actually worked. And I was able to look at it. I'm like, yeah, this is it. So I clicked on it and said there's a mural in there. Chick's mural, they call it. There's apparently a mural, I guess, inside the abandoned building. Or, 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 or I don't know, somewhere on the outside. You can't really tell by looking at it. Uh, it's, it's kind of a borderline. There's like a little bit of a faded kind of design on the outside that I think may have been the mural at some point. But I was like, this can't be right like this 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 is barely anything if it even was anything when this building was standing up but either way it's a gym though so i thoroughly enjoy trying to take over the abandoned gym and last night and this is speaking about saturday night, i'm recording on sunday but saturday night i uh i got back from work and i was like you know what man i was like i'm about to take over this gym i had a bunch of what i consider the strongest pokemon you know i had like a magma level like a thousand or something or a thousand a hundred you know star me, Star You, Star You, uh, whichever one the evolved version is. Star Me, Star You? I, I can't remember. Star Me. I don't know. Star Me. Uh, I had him um, uh, like level 1,000 or something too, you know, but I, I felt strong enough that I could take this gym. And you have to fight a couple times. There was like four or five Pokemon in it, whatever. I ended up taking it and I put my guy in there. I, put, uh, I think I put Star Me in there. I was like, alright. And then I was like, you know what? Hopefully someone else comes they put another Pokemon that isn't a water. Uh, I literally, I took like a snapshot of it to send it to my friend. I think I posted it on my Instagram. And I literally, I walked home, I uh, used the bathroom facilities, looked, I was about to close the app, I was like getting rid of all my like double Pokemon that I caught along the way home, and somebody already took over the gym. I was like, damn, I was like, that was literally like five minutes, I'm like, nine at night, word, okay. So, a little bit later that night, I go, and I'm like, you know what, man, I gotta get some soda. Uh, for this drink that I'm working on, and I'm gonna step out. There's a store right next to that band building. I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna take that shit back, yo. So, go out there, get the pop, uh, and then I'm taking over the gym, whatever, and I notice that there's these two other cats literally just waiting for me. Like, they're standing aside with this grin. I'm like, I think these guys are waiting for me to take over the gym. So I didn't. I was like, I, I ain't trying to get beat. I ain't going to take it over there. I ain't going to waste all my potion shit for these guys just to come and take it right after. And lo and behold, those two guys double teamed the damn gym, and they were in it like seconds after I left, man. They took that thing over with a Snorlax and a Vaporeon. I leveled like 2,000-something. I was like, yo, y'all wildin', man. I was like, these are pros right here. They knew, they knew what I was doing. I know what they were doing. Thankfully, I was smart enough to step away. I think that was still the right decision to make. Just kind of back off and be like, all right, man, gym's yours, but I'm going to be back. And I guess some point overnight, uh, Team Valor took over the gym again. I managed to go over there and add one of my Pokemon over the list. So now we got like six or seven. Like I don't know how many Pokemon we got have in there, but it's got to be at least six that are holding down that gym. I left my level G Magnemite up in there because they had a bunch of water and fire Pokemon. So I was like, you know what? Let me throw my electric in there, help these guys out. I'm pretty proud of uh, holding that thing down. And I think we're still holding it down. <laughs> and, and, and I'm speaking as of like an hour after. I think we're still holding it down. I'm hoping that the sweltering heat doesn't let people go outside and they go stay inside and play some Call of Duty. I would say that I actually haven't been playing too much Call of Duty myself, man. This is a really good... This is about... This game a hard point I had to put up because I do well in it. But it's also... You know, this tight Tuesday is all about that close game to the limits of the wire. Aside from a tie, I don't think you could get any closer than this in hard point. And especially on Combine, man, it's just madness. Like, it is just madness left and right. I, I, I'm ultimately going to have to say that Combine is my favorite map in Black Ops 3. I've kind of been 
pushing towards maybe not feeling that way 100%, just being like, ah, you know, infection's really good, uh, and, you know, combine's solid, and, you know, I like some of the remakes of the stuff that they did, da da da. But uh, when I go and look at it, man, my, my funnest games and my most entertaining games are on combine. There's, there's just no doubt about it. Uh, it, it, it Nuketown is up there as well, but you know, Nuketown's kind of a remake as well. I, mean, I do really like this version of Nuketown, but uh, my funnest and wildest games come on combine, and, and it's not, it's, it's the, it's the crazy spawns, but crazy in the sense that you can still kind of work with them. It's the everybody's up in your face because there is no other place to go to. It's the quick advanced movements that we have that allow you to be in other people's faces so quickly. There's a lot going on, a lot of reasons to like Combine. And for all those reasons, I also hate Combine. You know, it kind of depends on how it goes. In a game like this where I put down that murder game, I'm a big fan of Combine. Other times... Man, combine! You, know, you could the, the same way that you could wreck, people could wreck you in combine. That's kind of how it works. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys' favorite match is. I'd have to put infection up there. I'm a big, big fan of infection. Really like infection. I, I don't have any maps that I hate necessarily. I think Exodus for me is kind of ah, but I I, I do I, I think it's ah just because of how people how I've how I've played people on it. Not necessarily the map's bad, it's just the people that I've played on there are normally pretty corny and cheesy. Uh, they kind of just either sit around corners or whatnot. Uh, th th there's not that much movement on the map from the people's perspective, but I think the map itself is uh, is, is fine for what it does. Uh, I like the DLC maps, I, honestly. They're, they're all kind of... I don't think there's any DLC map that kind of stands out to me like a Rush or like a Grind did in Black Ops 2. I, I, I think that's to be expected, though. I don't see how you could make maps like those again I, I when you look at black ops 2 we were so spoiled when it comes to that dlc man those maps particularly rush and grind to me those maps were better than most maps in the game like you know i i i go look back black ops 2 uh, slums was my number one map raid was up there as well uh, you know the nuketown remake was solid I, I wasn't too crazy about it hijacked obviously was a lot of fun i i didn't like hijacked as much as for example i like combine uh but i liked hijack uh you know you, you look at those kind of maps and then you get rush and to me rush jumps everyone except for slums honestly like rush was such a good time so good for using the mp7 the shotties to the bodies over there man i used to run around with that remington on rush <clears throat> the paintball thing uh, and it was just it was the first time we ever got that loosening of call of duty which i kind of enjoyed now we're a little bit to the extreme you know now we're like dabbing after matches and we're like you know dancing and stuff it, it's it, you know it's borderline not even a war game you know where there's robots like that guy right there who's called like purple and a bunch of nonsense um but back then and uh, call of duty was still pretty serious you know it was still pretty taking itself pretty seriously so to have a, a course on a skateboard or like a skate park to have a a, a map on a, a on a paintball thing uh, yeah, it, it'd been done quite the opposite, right? In Call of Duty XP, where they they made Nuketown into a, a paintball thing, not not vice versa. You know, so it was cool that they were playing around with those parameters, and it, clearly they knew that people liked it, and they kept pushing along those ways because that's where we are right now. We're in a little bit of a silly phase right here with Call of Duty. And I'm curious to see where Infinite Warfare kind of lies on that, uh, and not to mention even the zombie part, which uh, it, it's, I guess it could, you kind of say it's taking itself seriously, but it, it's zombies, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the one thing I saw, I saw, at least at the time of this recording, they haven't uh, given any details on the zombies for Infinite Warfare, but they did show the logo uh, for and it looked kind of silly, a little bit goofy. I, I would personally like, you know, for the multiplayer and stuff like that to be, you know, and the single player to be serious, and then the zombies is where you kind of let your creativity fall and fall, fall and just do whatever nonsense you want to do over there. Uh, I haven't seen too much. They've released some stuff for the campaign for Infinite Warfare. Uh, I'm in media blackout mode. I, I will watch a little bit of the multiplayer just to kind of get a gist to make sure that there's nothing crazy going on. But I won't even watch that much. I, I know I'm getting the game. I'm normal playing. It's called Duty. It's what I do. Uh, but I'm not... I, I, I'm in media blackout mode, meaning that I know I'm going to get them. I mean, the game's already pre-ordered. I'm, I'm locked and loaded. I don't really want to hear much more about it. Games that I know that I'm going to buy and play, I try not to know that much about them when I go into them. I, 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 it takes me very little to actually know. You know. I'll give you an example of like Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite's a game that came out, and I think I was in Syracuse. I don't know. I think I was still in school. And uh, or maybe right after, I don't know. But what, either, either way, I didn't have enough time to play. And I was like, I'm going to have to come back to this. But I never once even like looked up a list. I never looked at anything about Bioshock. Because I was like, no, no, I played the other two Bioshocks. I, I, I saw like the initial trailer, this thing was in the sky or whatever. I know I'm going to like this game. I was like, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing I can learn or see in the trailer 
that just won't ruin it. And that's kind of the same kind of treatment I'm giving Infinite Warfare. I know what I'm going to do with this game. Even uh, they released like the first mission of the uh, Modern Warfare campaign. I didn't watch it. I'm good. First off, I already know what the hell happens in the first mission of the Modern Warfare campaign. And secondly, I I'd rather just be awe-inspired when I see the graphics. And, and it's really interesting because the, the graphics, at least a little snippet that I caught... At first, I was kind of like, ah, this isn't really, yeah, like, I mean, it looks good, but it ain't nothing crazy. But then if you go look back how they looked in, like, Modern Warfare, whoa, you're like, damn, like, okay. I was like, I definitely see the difference. Talk about difference. 17 uh, point lead right here. This guy just maybe he wastes 30 bullets, and I should have never chased him. Should have never chased him. What am I doing? You're wasting your time. The objective's the other way. Come on, Marcos, you have 3 bullets. This is what you call taking it personal. I took this guy personal, so I killed him. Woohoo, guess what? We're up two. Don't take things personal in this damn game, man. There's nobody, nobody's gonna remember this. You're not gonna remember this. I barely remember this, and I do the damn videos. Uh, there's nobody that's gonna remember who killed who or what, anything like that. I, you might remember some particular moments if someone like takes you to school completely, but no one's really gonna remember. So I'm looking, looking, looking. Managed to get here, man. I see the other person. I'm looking. I'm also looking at the time. We got 17 seconds, but in all fairness, we kind of need every second we could get up in here because it's crazy. I duck into this corner, try to stay alive. Unfortunately, don't. We're down 18. 18. So now it's eight seconds left. I'm hoping that maybe one of my teams can at least contest it or take it. And I was trying to push up and see if I could kill some of their guys on their side. We're down, what's this, 20? 20 over here almost. Looking for the next hard point of me. I'm like, where that, where that? The teammates got it. I got to get out of here. That guy's got me. But I want to lay this sentry gun down here to hopefully get this side, right where that guy was, and also manage to try to get the middle of the map some sort of control. This person's going crazy. I'm hoping the sentry gun gets him. Sentry gun does get him. They got themselves a little lead. Oh, my goodness. We're down 27 to 46. We got to take we gotta take control. They throw the damn rolling thunder on us. And I'm like, we are screwed, man. I can't get to the hard point. Our team's holding it down, though. I'm trying to just keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. That guy managed to pop me. I don't care. I'm hitting X as quick as I can. Managed to spawn somewhere relatively close. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So I knew that they were all flanking on the right side. So I was like, maybe if they could fl just put me in a damn spawn that's closer. You got 23 seconds on the spawn. I'm looking behind. I'm looking where, where are they not coming from. Managed to get one. Unfortunately, we'll get the other three that are coming at us. And we flip that and we win there. Woo! Get hype, man. 66 and 26, too. Woo! That's that nasty, man. That's that nasty. Also, by the way, I suck with the flamethrower. Thank you. That's still, still not good with it. Still not good with it. Don't understand. Every time I try to fuel some, find somebody, odds are I end up dying. Don't like it. Don't want it. Don't, don't, not a big part of that. But I, when I get the damn, uh, when I get the damn black jacket, and he managed to get that. I flip it. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm good, man. I'm straight. And I'm fair. 9200 might be the highest I've ever gotten in terms of points in a single game, man. I don't think I ever cracked treated like triple digits. I was gonna say the ten thousands. But I gotta look back into the record book for that, man. Tight Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Deuces.